Yeah. Wow, you've got some important weather information. Right, it is Stacey? quite a day out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very windy and warm. Uh, that's the that's the story. That's what we expected. But we're also seeing some severe storms right now. The winds out of the west and Carroll at 40. You can see where that frontal boundary is. Look at Lamoni gusting near 50 miles an hour. Heavy rain right now downtown 65 degrees. South southwest winds sustained near 30. Humidity 70%. Super Doppler 8. See right here a new severe thunderstorm warning. The main threat with this would be some small hail. Maybe some winds near 60. That in Clark and Union County. Also frequent lightning out there. You can see the heavy rain here in the metro. This is just starting to move out of Union County and will be spreading into Clark County. Probably catch uh, the west side of Osceola with this as it moves uh, to the northeast. We zoom in on the metro. Heavy rain downtown. Another batch cruising on through generally dry west side and I'm not sure the west side will pick up any more rain as we're starting to see that wind shift out there, but there is a chance better chances though uh, to the east. So thunderstorms and wind in your planner through uh, 6 p.m. Then you'll notice the wind shift and we clear on out and dry on out with falling temperatures by 10 o'clock in the 40s. The high today, we hit 74 here in the metro, just shy of a record. 72 Ames, 75 Lamona. I look to the northwest. Temperatures there in the 50s. So this area in yellow is the tornado watch. The area in light brown, a wind advisory, and this is a high wind warning. And there's your severe thunderstorm. We have tornado warnings up in southeastern Minnesota. That's where the area of low pressure, where we're getting some more spin. But then look off to the west. They have over winter storm warnings west of the Twin Cities. So right now in Minnesota, tornado warnings and winter storm warnings. It is a very dynamic system. Tomorrow, colder air moving on in, but 56 is still above normal for this time of year. The line of thunderstorms will be from St. Louis to Detroit. So there's the line. It moves out. We clear out Thursday, maybe some clouds north, but I do expect afternoon sunshine, dry weather, and more dry weather into Friday. Enjoy the dry weather because that also is about to change. After the rain today, we get a couple dry days before more precipitation returns. So this is rain tracker with the line moving on through. This would be additional rain. And you can see you get underneath one of those thunderstorms. You can probably get a quick quarter to maybe three tenths of an inch. Forecast tonight, thunderstorms early, then breezy and colder. Amazingly, the low temperature down to 36 degrees. Temperatures tomorrow 56, partly cloudy and cool, still 10 degrees above normal. Northwest winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. 12 hour forecast, 30s to the 40s into the 50s. Not as windy tomorrow. Notice in the afternoon a northwest wind. Got to talk about this. It's been going crazy on the social media. There is a threat for some big snow next week. It will concentrate Colorado and Wyoming. But it's starting to look like some of this may catch the northern half of the state. Again, this is a long way away. It's Sunday into Monday, but this is a very dynamic system. And I wanted to show it to you in case you'd have some travel out to the west Sunday into Monday. That's just not going to happen in western Nebraska, western South Dakota, and Colorado. Eight day forecast 50s Friday, precipitation Saturday late, Sunday into Monday. That's the system to watch, and we hanged into those 40s right through next week.